Hey, welcome back. Founders Journey Daily Spark. I'm your host, Greg Moran. And today, we're continuing to address the top five reasons for startup failure. And we're going to focus on team dysfunction as one of those top five reasons. And all of them, this could be the most unpleasant. Dysfunctional teams, leadership issues, ethical violations, things like that can really destroy any chance of success. But effective teamwork and ethical leadership, and especially founder humility, are vital. Many times, this kind of dysfunction will stem from co-founders and relationships have gone sour and the whole company can become divided. So with some simple steps, you can really start to build a high-functioning, high-performance team right from day one. Consider first how you build effective teams. Get really rigorous in your hiring recruitment strategies and look at using cultural and job fit assessments, things like that. Think about leadership development through coaching and mentorship, not only for yourself, but for your whole team. Serious about conflict resolution and really addressing issues head on as they arrive, as they arise, but in a direct and empathetic way. And if it's relevant, look closely at those co-founder relationships and start setting clear roles and responsibilities. There's no such thing as joint ownership between co-founders. Decide who owns what, have regular communications and check-ins to hold one another accountable. You don't have to do everything at once. Set expectations clearly for the type of interactions and communication you want to have as a team and stick to them. Set boundaries for anyone who isn't following those expectations. So the team's going to become aligned. So the next few episodes, we're going to continue to address the top five reasons for startup failure and how to avoid them. So stay tuned. And thanks for joining us at Founders Journey Daily Spark. Take a moment to follow and subscribe so you don't ever miss an episode. And also, most importantly, take a moment to share your comments and experiences below. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow.